So you want to get better at prompting when it comes to chat GPT. Prompts are everything. It's basically how you talk to the AI, just like how a software developer or a coder talks to the computer. There are a specific set of instructions that make the AI's job easier to give you back exactly what you were looking for. And in this video today, we're gonna to go over my favorite, the top 10 most powerful prompts you can enter into ChatGPT. I might even add some honorable mentions and a bonus if you stick around to the end of the video. Before we start, I do wanna talk about some quick breaking news coming out of OpenAI. They just added a feature that lets users turn off their chat history for people that are concerned with their privacy and their data being shared. Basically, you can be incognito inside OpenAI no matter what you'd search in their chat, it's not gonna be shared with anybody, not even the company itself. So before I go over what my favorite prompts are, let's go over exactly what is a prompt. A prompt is a text input provided by the user that serves the starting point for ChatGPT's response generation. It can be a question, a statement, an instruction, or any combination of these elements. The purpose of the prompt is to guide the AI in understanding the context and the user's expectations, enabling it to generate a relevant and useful output. The reason that these are so crucial is because it provides the AI with the context setting, it helps define the expectations, it helps channel creativity, and reduces ambiguity. This also helps to tell the AI exactly what you want to get back as a result. So you gotta be specific, you gotta set the scene, you gotta provide as much context as humanly possible. Humanly possible is the correct term, you know, the emphasis because we're talking to a computer, a robot, and we gotta have that human element. But let's start with some honorable mentions. We're gonna give you a little bit more value than just the top 10. These are prompts that are really valuable, but just wasn't powerful enough to be top 10 worthy. Number one, how about we ask ChatGPT how to help you become better at using ChatGPT. So what I'm gonna type in is create a beginner's guide to using ChatGPT. The topic should include prompts, priming and personas, include examples where necessary. And I'm gonna give it an example of how many words I think it should be. That's everything I need to know. Let's listen to the information. Let's learn, let's get better at using this as a product. Second honorable mention, especially if you wanna get past, you know, these AI plagiarism detectors, what you can do is you can give it a specific style, hopefully yours, give it a piece of writing and say, analyze this writing style from the text below. Obviously we're gonna put the text below it and write a 200 word piece on this topic. So this you can use for anything. Basically you're training the AI how to write in your tone, your style, your voice. And basically at that point, just tell it, hey, now I want a blog post. I want a social media guide. I want a 1000 word essay for my history exam. Next, let's make our outputs look a little bit better. So I'm gonna do that by creating a markup table. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it any sort of task. It doesn't really matter what it is. I'm gonna say task, analyze according to the instructions in my text. Output as, you wanna tell it exactly how the output's supposed to look. Only markdown table with columns, number, town, island, country, best three dishes. And my text is seven best Mediterranean island towns and their famous dishes. This just gets you a lot better looking output, which helps me interpret the data better. And it can be used for all sorts of things like graphics and everything like that. Shout out to the homie Boris on Twitter because this is one of my favorite prompts that he's written add rewrite as if I know what I'm talking about to your prompt. The way he used it was, um, he gave it a style, he said style casual, rewrite this as if I know what I'm talking about. The Starship exploded at 39 kilometers because, and then ChatGPT responded with, hey, so you know that Starship rocket? It actually blew up at 39 kilometers because of a pretty significant issue that happened during the flight. Crazy, huh? If we hop over to my mem.ai, you can see ChatGPT prompts for writing specifically. So what I do is I have an initial starting point, right? It says, you know, you are a writer, an expert, next subject, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna go over the entire thing. We give it the research and the keywords, but why not take it one step further, one step at a time? And so what I do is I give it that starting point and then next I go add examples to the text. Then I say, Let's think about this from a reverse perspective. Then I say, let's think about this in a bigger context. Then I say, let's think about this using analogies from multiple angles, from an impact, historical standpoint, economics, added humor, risks, and downsides. So when it comes to writing, what I want to do is give it a starting point, And then I'm going to say one step at a time, let's make it more in depth. Let's add all these cool things that make the writing better. And it's able to do that, especially when you go one step at a time, instead of saying, hey, I want this perfect article, just give it the basis, give it a starting point, and then go one by one, and you'll get a much better piece of content. But those are just honorable mentions. Now let's go into the 10 most powerful ChatGPT prompts. So the first prompt that I love more than any of them, eh, might not be number one, but the first one we wanna start with is called Summarize This. All you do is you insert any type of text inside of ChatGPT and you say, hey, can you summarize this? But you can even be more specific and say, summarize this and I want this output. So summarize this into five bullet points, summarize this into seven complete sentences, whatever you want 
to get from that piece of information. In an old video I have on YouTube right here, I did summarize the speech the show goes on from the Wolf of Wall Street as a Hallmark card. So you can do so many things. It can be the type of content and you can do the exact output, make it more creative and more easy to understand. The second prompt that I really like is to either generate ideas or to help me brainstorming. Let's go over the prompt for generating ideas first. Can you give me ideas for blog posts about real estate, perhaps covering topics such as buying, selling, investing, or managing property? You can even combine one of another prompts that we're gonna use later, the act as prompt to make this even more specific. We can go over to Rowan Chung on Twitter who said, I turned ChatGPT into Harvard marketing graduate. Basically said the act as prompt as a Harvard marketing graduate and skilled content creator guide me in crafting social media content that resonates with AI enthusiasts. Emphasize uncommon and expert questions to ask. So it's combining two things. It's generating ideas for basically social media posts, but it's also using the act as prompt, which we'll talk about in just one second. One of the most popular ways people want to use ChatGPT is to write code and write code is a great prompt. But again, you want to be as specific as possible. So you want to really think about the outputs you want. Hey, do you want images? Do you want subheadings? What is going to be on your website? Do you want an app? Do you want a, a static page? What exactly is it? Is it just a blog? Make sure you're very specific, but you can have a right code. It can build an entire website for you. This next prompt, number four, is probably my favorite in the entire list. It's basically turning ChatGPT into a prompt generator itself. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in ChatGPT. You're an AI designed to help insert profession. It could be helping marketers generate a list of 10 best prompts for yourself. The prompt should be about, and then pick your topic. So you can say how to grow a social media account quickly and boom, then ChatGPT starts spinning up the top 10 prompts. It thinks could be great for marketers trying to grow a social media account quickly. Like number one, what are the most effective tactics for quickly increasing followers on social media platforms? What are the best ways to collaborate with influencers? Blah, 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 blah. Next, we have the act as prompt, which is where we're going to have ChatGPT become an expert in a certain field and then ask a question that an expert in that field would know. So what I said is, Hey, Act is a 20 year bourbon connoisseur. And it's just to me the top five bourbons under $50 with the most complex taste. And cheers to that chat GPT. And then look, even at number four, very specifically, it says Buffalo Trace. This award-winning bourbon is known for its balance, complexity, notes of toffee, vanilla, and a hint of leather. It's priced around 25 to $30. And it's so good that it actually picked the exact bourbon that I'm drinking. So I just found this one today and I haven't tested it yet. So let's test it live together right now. This is called the multi-purpose super prompt. Okay, so we're gonna tell ChatGPT that you are an expert level ChatGPT prompt engineer with expertise in various subject matters. Throughout our interaction, you'll refer to me as blank. Let's collaborate to create the best possible ChatGPT response to a prompt that I provide. We will interact as follows. Number one, I will inform you how you can assist me. Two, then based on my requirements, you'll suggest an additional expert roles you should assume besides being an expert level level chat GPT prompt engineer. Basically, this is going all the way through step 21 and saying, if I agree for the needed changes, refer to your previous response, make the required adjustments and generate a new prompt. Repeat steps 15 through 20 until I'm content with the prompt. So basically this is as detailed as it gets. Let's see what happens. Help me write the best YouTube title for this video about top 10 chat GPT prompt and I'll tell it to proceed. So right here, then ask me a clarifying question, basically saying, Hey, can you differentiate between what this video is actually going to be about? Is it simply a guide to creating top performing chat GPT prompts, or does a video ranking the list of top 10 chat GPT prompts itself? Then I answer the question. The idea that it gives me is the 10 expert tips for crafting high performance chat GPT prompts. Basically what I want to do from here is make the title a little bit more specific and shocking. So I'm just going to tell it to do that. It took it a little literally. It said the word shocking inside of it and said 10 shocking secrets for creating ChatGPT prompts that will blow your mind. I don't really like that one, but you get the gist. One way that I like to use ChatGPT is this next prompt where it helps me be better at crafting prompts to create AI images, whether it's on Dali or Midjourney. So the prompt is please generate a clear and detailed description of an image that represents topic or concept. The description should include information about the scene, objects, colors, and any other relevant details. The description should aim to provide the AI model with enough information to generate an accurate and visually appealing image. The response should be structured and focused, including headings and bullet points, and should aim to provide a complete, comprehensive, and detailed description that can be used to generate an image. To start, please let me know what topic or concept you would like me to describe. Let's do a son goes to his first baseball game 
with his father, cartoon style. What it's first gonna do is gonna spit out a scene, characters, actions, and objects, and colors. And then from there, you can tweak it to be like, hey, this is the specific output that I like to see from Mid Journey. You can give it an example and it'll tweak this exact information into that style. My most used is probably this next one, explain it like I'm five. How can you take a complex subject and understand it even if you're, you know, not an expert? Can you explain nuclear physics? I don't even know if that's a thing to me like I'm five years old. And then it gives you this really cool output specifically talking to a five-year-old. Nuclear physics is all about a teeny tiny thing called atoms. They're so small, you can't see them with your eyes. You could also go one step further, which is what I like to do. I normally like to say, can you explain nuclear physics to me like I'm five years old and use a lot of analogies, stuff like that. Make sure to be more specific. Tell it other things that you like to see to make things make more sense. Next, I like to use ChatGPT to summarize books for me. Basically, I don't wanna read the whole thing. Let me skim it first, see if I like it. I normally take it one step further and I try to get it to explain it to me in a bullet point list, and I take it one more step further, and I try to get it to explain to me like the specific character. And this time I said, can you summarize Atomic Habits by James Clear in five bullet points as if Gary Vee was the narrator? Habits are the building blocks of success, small improvements made consistently over time can lead to big results. Breaking bad habits requires identifying the cue, creating response and reward that drives the behavior, finding ways to interrupt that cycle. So as you can see, I just did an entire book report in one second. I'm gonna give you one more bonus prompt because that was 10. Here's number 11 that's bonus. Basically, I want to create 10 business ideas for a specific industry. So I say is please generate 10 unique and innovative business ideas for the AI sector. The idea should be original, practical, aimed to solve a specific problem or address a need in the market. You can read the rest of the prompt here and here's the response because I wanted to specifically learn about the AI sector. AI powered personal shopping assistant, content creation, cybersecurity, financial advisor, language translation. Take everything you learned with AI, ChatGPT, and go make a business out of it. I hope this video was enough to get you really jumped in, make you learn a lot more about how to wield and harness the power of ChatGPT a little more effectively. If not, go watch my next video, my first big one that took off talking about ChatGPT beginner to expert in five minutes. But I think this is all you're gonna need. There's gonna be plenty more videos just like this. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.